It's been Aqam at Escape Pod Comics. Uh, second video in our new series. What I really wanted to do was take a look at the shop. We offer a humongous range of comic books. I couldn't think of a way to show off how much we had without making it incredibly boring or incredibly time consuming to make. So I split the difference and uh, Joey, our video editor, is probably going to be the one who has to do the most work here, but what we're going to try and do is, not counting this introduction, uh, we are going to do a five-minute speed run store tour of Escape Pod Comics. Try to get it all in uh, in five minutes and uh, we'll see how it goes. Maybe. What we have here is our dollar back issues. This is one whole room in the back. A whole long story how we started with thousands of comics that, uh, that we cost almost nothing. Dollar, 12 for 10, literally tens of thousands, uh, a few thousand waiting to be put in. The dollar back issues range from things from the 80s to the two or three years ago. Vast majority of stuff that you see everywhere, 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 everywhere for a dollar. That's what we have, but there's a load of other stuff, and we're gonna go check out the kids section. The kids section is the pride and joy of Escape Pod Comics. When we opened 10 years ago, kids graphic novels were just beginning to be a dominant part of the market. Now, they are a humongous part of the market. We try to have a humongous range of series, standalone, picture books, young reader books, all in comic format. We also have some chapter books, and of course, floppy, comic books that are age appropriate for kids. That's why we have all the Babysitter's Club, all the Reina, all the Bone, all the Amulet, all sorts. We have a smattering of collectible issues for whatever reason, lots of different reasons. We have latest series that have come out. We sometimes have sets of recent series all the way down to the third or fourth issue. We even have a whole waterfall rack filled with recent issues, not the latest one, but you know, the last like years worth. Yeah, it's not our focus, the single issues, but I do think we do a uh, semi-decent job keeping uh, abreast of the current single issue market. Uh, you can be the judge of that. We've also got things packed all over this store on multi-levels. So right here, I've got signed comics from events we've had. I've got uh, Classics Illustrated and Underground Comics, and then loads of magazines. There's just so much different stuff to see. Not to mention all these little nooks and crannies like our discount books that are shoved into the corner right up against the wall between the sets. Most people don't even know this is here. Right over here is that waterfall rack of, uh, of recent issues. We've got our wall of Cerebus. Uh, Cerebus, we'll get into that in a different video. Uh, a few of the random things we have are some cards from different sets, some old Marvel posters, a couple stickers. Used digests. Recent magazines. These are Star Wars magazines and Star Trek magazines, as well as others, including Love and Rockets. This is where things start to get really crazy. Up on top, oversized, beautiful, art-centric books. Uh, we have a lot of those all over the shop, but this is just one tier of them that we have over the beginning of this aisle. This whole bookshelf is slice of life stuff. Everything in it could happen in real life or is based on events that happen in real life. This shelf also includes our Beehive Book Editions. These are gorgeous illustrated books. Beehive Book Editions can have their whole own video. Let me know if you're interested in that. This is uh, fantasy, horror. A lot of this stuff uh, runs the gamut. On the other side of those shelves, still in this little aisle, we've got loads and loads of self-published small press zines uh, from all over. Uh, some on consignment, some original, made by artists directly down on paper, giving you their raw, uh, no editorials. Well, some of the small press editors, but you know what I mean. From 90 self publisher Rick Vish, Sarah Horrocks, Floating World, Silver Sprocket, Kayama, my last few Kayama books, YouTube famous Jim Rugg. There's just comic books everywhere. This is a section of the Little Rhyme Reason. This is our crime and pulp on top. Some more self-published. Science fiction, beautiful art, which underneath that has new series to try out. You're thinking, okay, we did that whole aisle. It wasn't that long. There's just not much else to see. We're almost by that front door, right? No, this goes up and there's a whole other section on the other side. See? I call these my Koch warehouse boxes. Uh, if you get that, good for you. These are some semi-rare, looked for issues, things like that, that people might want to pay more than a dollar for, but not necessarily high value. So here are the series. These are major series or series that we uh, support or push that aren't in the superhero display. Alphabetical by title, 
We've also got some statues up here. These are gifts. These are not for sale. These are things people have given the shop or me or I bought. Our adults only uh, section, very small, but again, tries to be a little bit diverse, Western and Eastern. Right underneath that, we have anthology series, which are, cover a whole range of different stuff. Some books that are face out uh, that we think uh, not enough people have read. And one of the big stories for us uh, actually is all over the shop, but in these little binders, which I'm about to show you. Uh, these binders are magazines and uh, smaller things that belong to Tony, who was a customer of ours. Again, whole long story. We could do a whole special video about Tony and about his collection, uh, but suffice it to say, he was a collector over 70 years. Uh, he would say over 80 years, though he really didn't buy much in the last few, uh, whose uh, collection we are disseminating uh, for his widow. And it's just exceptional stuff. And again, that's a whole section of the store. It's a whole story. It's a whole thing that we're doing. It's just how it works here. Our as seen on screen, Star Wars, Heartstopper, Barbie, Predator, Star Trek, all sorts. So we're almost up by the front desk. Some art by friends of ours. More giant art books. Our spinner rack. Everything in here is a standalone story. This is an actual vintage 1970s uh, spinner rack. How we got that is a whole story. It's always a whole story here at Escape Pod Comics. Uh, you can see that the big major display and the two aisles are behind me. Check out is to our right. Right over here to me, we have our recommended. Right across from where I am so that I can talk to you about it are literally dozens of books that we think are great and people would enjoy. We made it. We're finally in the front of the shop. You can see the windows. So much amazing stuff. We've got manga, new releases, superhero books, uh, used books, two giant shelves of them. The stuff on the superhero shelf is always changing. There's so many different titles from so many decades that we want to highlight. We do actually delineate these by company. We've got DC up top, Independence in the middle, and then Marvel on the bottom. There's loads of other superhero books tucked around the corner right on display for people to see in the window. There's a whole display of standalone stuff, and then there's also all the omnibi around the central display. Yeah, you heard me. Manga, 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 manga. We, we don't have all the manga. It's impossible to have all the manga. We, we really do our best to try and have a range. We do try to stock volume ones of interesting looking stuff, volume twos of the same uh, series. We're also very, very big on uh, the literary manga world. So people like Jiro Tanaguchi, Gecho Tagami, Tsuga, uh, Gendry Kim, Yoki Yamiyuchi, just people doing things that are different. Uh, so we do try to have all that as well as uh, the popular and well-known with a mix of things that we push and love. No one ever seems to notice him, but I'm incredibly proud of our new release display. Uh, besides having all the Omnibuy in the bottle and some other stuff that has a whole special connection thing, uh, is where we put new releases. The first about three weeks of books, unless they're parts of series, end up here. Uh, we can fit about a hundred books on here and we still have to get rid of stuff every week with how much that comes out. This is my Sanctum Sanctorium, my base of operations, the front counter, the front area. You come in, I greet you, I go, hey, how's it going? Or welcome. Uh, I'm known for my welcomes and uh, where people line up to pay out of our old cash box, where I do people's hold lists right over there. Uh, it's a wonderful little spot. Uh, I think that we've made it a really comfortable space right here. While you can look at the graphic novels over here while someone's up here paying, talking to me, and it's not intrusive. Uh, the superhero books over here let uh, it feel a little bit more private from the light of the front, uh, and I like it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed our store tour. I, I really hope that the brief glance I gave you at all this stuff here gave you uh, more interest in not just coming into this awesome comic shop, but seeing the range of what's out there in the comic field, because that's what we're really all about. Joey, God bless you. Thank you for everything that you did. Please like, subscribe, check stuff out, hit us up online, and we'll try and help you find something.